when I was a kid growing up reading Marvel comics, there was like five primary black characters. There was Luke Cage, there was Falcon, there was Black Panther, and if you really wanted to stretch, there was Misty Knight and there was Storm. And that was over 40 years ago. And now there is Luke Cage, Falcon, <laughs> Misty Knight, right. Storm, you know, Black Panther. Not much has changed. As a kid, you know, seeing Luke Cage on the shelf, it, it was life-changing for me. It, it made me realize that, wait a minute, you mean to tell me this brown person, he's able to do some of the things that I saw Captain America do. And now uh, we're at this place in time in, in our uh, culture and our society where, I mean, it's, we're starving for it. Sitting at a con, see other adult African American males come up to come up to you, and they're not not, not really comic book fans, but they kind of wander into the con to see what's going on, and they get excited to see us because we represent them, representation, and that's why it's so important. And then the adults bring their kids around, right. and then it becomes you could do this someday. They see themselves in us. <laughs>